My name is Tom Bernacki, and if you have big, thick lumps at the bottom of your foot, called plantar fibromas. So you can see right here, you have a lot of musculature. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of your plantar fibromatosis. Your plantar fibromas, these big thick lumps that are causing you pain and preventing you from walking normally in your shoes. These right here are plantar fibromas that I just drew onto my foot, right here. So this is called your plantar fascia. It's a ligament that attaches your heel to the front of your foot. So it kind of flares into the musculature. So you can see right here from, our, from the side, as my foot bends out and my foot tilts up, I have a tight band here. This is called your plantar fascia right here. So I can feel it. It's almost like a guitar string that I could play. So on top of it, it's a little bit different, but because uh, scientifically speaking, there's always a fancy explanation in a biomechanical way. But I like to think about it as a tight rope that tightens the more your foot flattens out during the day. These lumps are almost like um, frayed rope. It's kind of like when you're overworking your back and get lumps in your neck. That's kind of how I like to think about it. But officially, it's collagen uh, laid down by fibroblasts. Number one, uh, a really good idea is different types of gels. But ever since the downfall of compound pharmacies and a lot of weird stuff going on with them, there's poor evidence scientifically. Some people claim these creams work, but eh, I've personally never seen them work. Nobody's actually been able to publish that they do work. We do something called the shockwave machine, which is a fancy medical device that basically pulsates back and forth. It's like a super duty uh, massage unit. But what you can do at home is you can break these up with your fingers. So if you start massaging heavily or if you get a massage rolling stick. So uh, any of those devices that you can roll back and forth on your foot, that's kind of the idea of the ice bottle. Uh, you could do that with a tennis ball. You could do that with a golf ball. Just simply rolling it back and forth can, can do the trick. Uh, at the same time, getting it massaged. That's what physical therapy does. All that stretching, all that working it out. It For initial pain, get yourself some ice 20 minutes at a time. Rest it compression elevation realistically the only thing that makes sense is the ice and do medications work sure if you're really sore anti-inflammatories can really help but i'm not a big fan of self-medicating to solve problems because it doesn't actually solve the problem it just helps get you through it at the beginning if you're very tender and you really need something right away massaging is not going to get a very sore lump better right away the single best acute treatment is a corticosteroid injection. So nobody likes getting poked by a needle, but you do get initial outstanding relief. And sometimes this can be uh, one of the quickest and most effective things uh, to get your pain down initially. As an example, right here, something's causing your plantar fascia to fray and rip, kind of how I showed you at the beginning. Get yourself a good pair of shoes and a good pair of orthotics right here. So what I was showing you at the beginning with your plantar fascia lump, simply draw on the lump, see where it shows up on your orthotic and take your orthotic and cut out holes in that area. So you could see there's a contoured surface here on the bottom here, mark where the nodule is and cut out holes. Sometimes for some people we cut out a whole groove for a large buildup of plantar fibromatosis. My favorite thing to do is if somebody's in a lot of pain at the beginning, an injection with some numbing medication is outstanding. Then as we give that about three to four weeks, it starts to cool down the size. Then we start massaging 
working that lump out and even potentially something called shockwave therapy. So with that combo, I would say 95% of our patients do get better. But those who do not get better. So for example, if you have a lump the size of a fist, I mean, some people legitimately are as big as golf balls, maybe not the size of a fist. That's a little bit exaggerating. But for those people, sometimes rather than massaging for three years in a row, it might make sense to do a debulking surgery and get a biopsy at that time if you are worried about the size of your plantar fascia. Number one, is it a cyst? Number two, is it an infection? Number three, could you have possibly torn uh, your plantar fascia? These can all be very dangerous, significant issues. For example, if it doesn't look exactly like a plantar fibromatosis, theoretically, you could have a cancer or another lump. Even though the odds are very, 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 very low, this is something you should go see your podiatrist about. Uh, in the office, we can do x-rays, we can do ultrasounds, we can do MRIs, and sometimes if it still looks dangerous, a biopsy may need to be performed. 99.9% .9 of the time, it is a plantar fibroma, but you should still make sure. Physical therapy and massage. These things combined get you an amazing result. So start massaging your foot as regularly as possible. Get some physical therapy to stretch out your tight Achilles tendons, your calf muscles, your plantar fascia nodules. Get these things taken care of and you will feel better. Pretty much guaranteed. If the lump is too big, if it's too big, then you might need surgery. If you might need a biopsy, you might need injections. But initially, start stretching get good orthotics, start getting flexible, start working all these things out. If you can do all these things, you're pretty much guaranteed to feel better, especially cutting out uh, an opening in your inserts. You will feel a whole lot better.